How to properly create a press-ready PDF file. In this video, we'll tell you why we accept PDFs as the main file format for printing and how the pages in such PDF files should be laid out. We'll also give you an overview of the correct setting of the necessary file parameters for printing. What is a PDF in the first place? It is a file format developed by Adobe Systems and intended for presentations, transferring and printing documents containing both text and graphics. A properly prepared PDF file for printing is flattened, which means it has no layers or transparencies, is in the net format, which is the format specified in your order, with bleeds, has a properly set trim box, has appropriate margins, includes all the fonts, does not have any ICC profiles. We prefer print files created in the CMYK color space. This especially applies to any text in your project, and in the inside in particular. It should be in 100% K black, not made up. If your project contains any color photos or graphics, the text must also be made in 100% black, whereas the graphics or bitmaps should use a CMYK buildup. The file must contain all the pages to be printed, ordered in the correct sequence, and including any intentionally blank ones. Do not put any comments on the blank pages, such as, this page is intentionally left blank or blank page. If the inside of the book is divided into several files, specify the correct sequence clearly and unambiguously. We recommend saving the inside of your book in one file only, arranged page by page, not using a double page spread. All the components of your publication, such as the cover, the inside, mask files for UV coating, and the dust jacket must be clearly identifiable in the file name. For creating PDF files, we recommend the kind of software that uses vector graphics, such as Adobe InDesign, Adobe Illustrator, or CorelDRAW. We do not accept open file types and PDFs generated using word processing programs like Word or Excel. However, in individual case, we might accept such files if agreed with our customer service department. PDF output from Word or Excel saves text using RGB color space, which makes them unsuitable for printing. The text of your book should be made up using just one color, black, without any other components. In CMYK, such black is identified as 100% K. Our technology department is not always able to remove component colors from text. Missing fonts is another mistake made when creating a PDF file from MS Office. If your book file was prepared in Word, make sure the fonts used in the publication are embedded. How to prepare a press-ready PDF file using Adobe InDesign. If your project is ready, generate a PDF file for printing. Choose File Export from the main menu. Select Format, Adobe PDF Print at the bottom of the window. Confirm your selection using Save. Next, in the Adobe PDF Preset dialog box, choose Press Quality. Go to Standard and choose None from the drop-down list. For compatibility, select Adobe 4. In the General Settings tab, go to Pages and mark All in Pages to have the inside laid out as Pages, not Spreads. In the Options section, go to Export Layers and choose Visible and Printable Layers. Leave all the other options unmarked. Do not click any boxes in the Include section either. In the bottom section, Interactive Elements, leave the setting Do Not Include. Go to Compression, and in the Color Images section, put 300 ppi in Bicubic Downsampling 2 and 350 ppi in for images above. This means that any bitmaps with a print resolution above 350 dpi used in your publication will be compressed and embedded in the PDF file at 300 dpi. Leave the automatic JPEG setting in the compression section. Set the image quality to maximum. In the grayscale images section, put 300 ppi in Bicubic Downsampling 2 and 350 for images above. Leave the compression option as automatic JPEG. Set the image quality to maximum. In the monogram images section, go to Bicubic Downsampling 2 and put 600 ppi in the text box for images above 700 ppi. 
Leave the compression option as CCITT Group 4. Check both boxes at the bottom, the compress text and line art box and crop image data to frames. Go to the Marks and Bleed tab and leave all the options in Marks unchecked. The PDF file will be generated without crop marks and color bars. Note that digital printing does not require using any printer's marks in the file. However, if you check any of the boxes, for example, crop marks, then you have to specify the offset value to make sure the marks are appropriately offset. Don't forget to check Use Document Bleed Settings in the Bleed and Slug section. This will make the file generated with the required bleeds specified in your project. For example, the minimum bleed for the inside is 3 millimeters. In the Output tab, go to Color. Color Conversion and choose No Color Conversion from the drop-down list. In the Profile Inclusion policy, choose Don't Include Profiles. In the Advanced Options window, go to Fonts and leave the value 100% in the subset fonts when percent of characters used is less. The fonts used in your publication will be saved with your PDF file. In the Transparency Flattener section, choose High Resolution as the preset. See that no options are checked in the Security tab. Verify that you have set up everything correctly and confirm using the Export button. How to correctly prepare a press-ready PDF file in Adobe Illustrator. If your project is ready, generate a PDF file for printing. Choose Save as from the File menu. Select Adobe PDF as the output format at the bottom of the window. If the PDF file is to be created using all the workspaces, select All and confirm with Save. In the Adobe PDF preset dialog box, choose Press Quality. In Standard Settings, choose None. And in Compatibility, Acrobat 4. In the General section, check Preserve Illustrator Editing Capabilities option and leave all the other boxes unchecked. Go to Compression, Color Bitmap Images, and put 300 ppi in the average downsampling to setting and 350 ppi in for images above. This means that any bitmaps with a print resolution of more than 350 dots per inch will be compressed and embedded in the PDF file as 300 pixels per inch. Select Automatic JPEG in the Compression section and Maximum in Image Quality. In Grayscale Bitmap, images select Bicubic Downsampling in the drop-down list and enter the value of 300 ppi. Then put 350 in for images above. Leave Automatic JPEG in the Compression section and Maximum in Image Quality. In monochrome bitmap images, select Bicubic Downsampling and enter 600 ppi. Then put 700 in for images above on the right. Leave the setting CCITT Group 2 in compression and check the compress text and line art box. Go to the Marks and Bleeds tab and leave all the options unchecked in Marks. The PDF file will be generated without trim marks or color bars. However, if any of the boxes, for example, crop marks, is checked, then you have to specify the offset value to make sure the marks are appropriately offset. In the Bleed section, remember to check Use Document Bleed Settings to generate a file with the bleed specified in your project. The minimum bleed for the inside of a publication is 3 millimeters. In the Output tab, go to Color, Color Conversion, and choose No Conversion from the drop-down list, whereas in Profile Inclusion Policy, choose Don't Include Profiles. In the Advanced Options window, go to Fonts and leave the value 100% in the subset Fonts when percent of characters used is less. The fonts used in your publication will be saved with your PDF file. If you have set up everything correctly, click Save PDF. How to correctly prepare a press-ready PDF file in Adobe Photoshop. In order to get a suitable PDF file for printing from Adobe Photoshop, first you have to create a file with the correct parameters. Click on File and choose New. Enter the project size and then specify the resolution. We recommend using 600 pixels per inch for any bitmap files with text. 
In the color mode, select CMYK and 8-bit and click on Create. If you have text in your project, go to the Options bar and in Flatten Image, choose None. This will keep your font edges sharp. When your project is ready, save it as a PSD file, which is an editable format. It will store the layers. Before you can generate a PDF file for printing, the file must be flattened. Go to Layers and select Flatten Image from the drop-down menu. Now you can save the file as PDF, go to File and choose Save As. In the field at the bottom of the window, choose Photoshop PDF as the file type. Do not check Use Proof Setup Working CMYK or ICC Profile in the color section. Confirm you settings by clicking Save. In the pop-up window, go to Adobe PDF Preset and choose Press Quality. In Standard, choose None, and in Compatibility, choose Acrobat 4. Go to General, Options, and check the box, Preserve Photoshop Editing Capabilities. This means less aggressive compression will be used. Also check the Embed Page thumbnails and optimize for fast web preview boxes. In the Compression tab, choose Do Not Downsample from the list. Choose Zip as the compression type and leave the image quality option as 8 bits. In the Output tab, go to Color and select No Conversion in the Color Conversion section. In Profile Inclusion Policy, leave the Don't Include Profiles option. Do not check any options in the Security tab. If everything has been set correctly, click Save PDF. How to correctly prepare a press-ready PDF file in CorelDRAW. If your project is ready, generate a PDF file for printing. Go to the top menu and choose File, Publish to PDF. Choose the location for your file and enter the PDF settings menu. In the General tab, choose Current Document and set Compatibility as Acrobat 4. Go to the Objects tab and choose LZW in the Compression Type. In the Bitmap Downsizing section, select 300 dpi for Color, 300 dpi for Grayscale, and 600 dpi for Monochrome. Then check the option Compress Text and Line Art. In the Text and Fonts section, choose Encode Text as ASCI, check Embed Fonts in Document, Embed Base 14 Fonts, Convert True Type to Type 1, and Subset Fonts, entering 99 as the percent value. If there is little text in your project, you can also check Export All Text as Curves. Go to the Document tab and make sure that all the options and settings are left default, as shown. Go to the Pre-Press tab and check Bleed Limit. Enter 3 mm. It is the minimum bleed for the inside of a book. Go to the Printer's Mark section and leave all the options unchecked. Your PDF file will have no crop marks or registration marks. In the Security tab, leave all the settings default, as shown. In the Advanced tab, Check Preserve Document Overprints and leave the default value of 256 as the Fountain Step setting. In the Color Management section, output all objects as, select CMYK. Do not check the option Apply ICC Profile so that the ICC is not saved with your PDF file. If you have set everything correctly, click OK to generate your PDF file for printing. You can find more practical tips on our website, TotemComPL. Click on Guide in the main menu to find the Video Tutorials tab. We believe our tips will help you design and prepare your publication for printing. We keep our fingers crossed for the best possible results.